is up everybody? Today I'm just making a quick video on the Canon Vixia HFG20. Um, just kind of show you what it looks like, what the outside's all about. Um, you know, and later on I'll make a video with the features on the inside of the camera. Um, I've seen a lot of videos, you know, about this camera and, you know, some aren't that descriptive in the video, so hopefully I can be more descriptive than other videos that I've seen. First of all, I'm going to show you the camera, then I'll kind of show you what comes in the box. Um, kind of like an untraditional unboxing, if you want to call it. Anyways, so first off, we'll start with the camera. Beautiful camera. It's got this nice uh, textured finish on the top. Um, on the side, it's really smooth. Really nice letters on the side for uh, the Canon logo. Um, really nice screen. I don't know the exact size off to look that up on the box. Um, anyways, it is all touch screen. It's got the autofocus and manual focus button right here. So if you want to kind of switch back and forth from autofocus to manual, then you just press that button. It's got the manual focus ring right here, which is, you know, really nice for certain shots that you want to pull off. Um, this button right here is it says pre-record but you can program that button uh, on the side here you got the slot for two SD cards and it will do simultaneous recording that means that if you're recording and the first card fills up it's gonna go to the second card just automatically without any breaks in the video or anything like that so it's gonna look really good this button right here is for the playback if you want to view what you recorded um, on the side here you got the AV out, and then you have your microphone slot, so you, or not your microphone, your headphone slot, sorry. Uh, so you can listen to the video while you're recording. Um, got the viewfinder right here, pulls out like that. Got the power button. Got the zoom. You got the mini advanced shoe right there, so you can plug in a boom mic or a light, whatever, whatever you want. Um, Got the auto, manual, and then cinema. That's where you're going to get all the cool filters. And In my previous video, I shot it in um, memory, the memory filter. So check that out. Um, on the other side here, got the adjustable uh, hole, or the um, sling, whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, it's adjustable. Right here you got the... HDMI out, you got the remote plug-in and the USB. You got the speaker right there when you're playing back the video. In the back, that's where you plug it in to do the charging. The battery is not the biggest, so you might want to upgrade the battery. You might want to go for an off-brand because the batteries for this are really expensive. Um, the hood lens, which is one of my favorite features, it flips up and down with this little switch right there. Uh, it just pops off. That's what the lens looks like. It's got 10 time optical zoom. Just really smooth, uh, just great quality. Anyways, we'll move on to in the box. Right here, this guy, in the other videos that I've seen, they weren't quite sure what this was. It's actually a stylus for the screen because it is touch screen. Also comes with a remote, which is really nice. Um, it also comes with the DVD, or not the DVD, the CD for the install for, you know, pulling the videos off and camera or pictures. It also comes with an HDMI cord. Um, also comes with the charger. And the AV cables, and it also comes with another um, lens protector. Let me, I'll show you that later. But, um, anyways, I just wanted to show the outside of the video camera and kind of show you what came in the box. This, on the other hand, did not come in the box. This is the Sunpack 1000. Uh, this is really nice for if you're trying to get, if you're like a skateboarder and you want to get good shots, you can. Uh, put that on there and it just mounts, I'll show you, it mounts on there like that, 
get good shots. Just set it up there. Don't have to worry about if it's on a table, if you spill anything. It's not going to get on the camera. It'll just get on this. So anyways, if you have any questions on this camera, go ahead and comment below. And uh, I will get back to that. If you have, you know, just if you want me to film something or you have a question about a certain feature, just go ahead and let me know. I'll try and get back to everyone as soon as I can. Thank you.